All right, I'm just gonna show you how to quickly add a floor um, so you have a base for your bathroom. Um, again, sorry, kind of we got ahead of ourselves today in class and um, uh, putting in toilets primarily needs a floor. So again, remember how they wanna pick a surface. Obviously the toilet wants to plant itself generally on the floor. So that was the problem with kind of putting together our ADA bathrooms that um, it's hard for the kind of the mechanics and the plumbing of this to work logically without a floor in here. So um, on Monday's class, we're going to make our custom flooring and we're going to kind of make this a lot prettier. For now, we're just going to kind of throw in concrete floor in here and we'll swap it out later. So this is purely just to get a floor in there to kind of be able to work with the components that obviously need a base to it. So what you're going to do is go back over to your architecture tab. This time you're going to go on floor, floor architectural. And generally what it lets you do is kind of just make the shape. So you can draw the shape with a line. So like later on when I do this section, I'm going to draw it with a line. But my bathroom here is basically just a rectangle. So I'm going to pick the rectangle tool. I'm going to kind of get in the corner of the room here. Um, actually, it's a little bit off there, but then I'm going to pull it to the corner here. So before I kind of press my green arrow, I can actually click on that pink arrow and use my up arrows and kind of nudge it up there. So again, it's fine if it kind of goes underneath that uh, wall there. I'm going to click the green arrow. You don't really see much of a difference here because in this case, um, I think I picked the basic concrete. So if you go into the 3D mode, oh, that's my view. Here's the 3D coming around. So I got to kind of pivot around so you can see the corner because my bathroom's over here in this corner. But there should now be a floor there instead of kind of floating in space, so to speak. So let's kind of pivot it around. Do, 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 do. Um, oh, there's a door there now too, so it's hard to see. So keep pivoting it around. So there it is. So it's basically a concrete floor. Um, so the nice thing is now that I have my toilet all set up, so I have a toilet over here. Um, and it's one of the Kohler ones. So it's going to take a second to jump in. So there it is there. I go to load into project. Now, when I go back to my level one, um, of course, now it's not showing up. It's already loaded. So what I have to do is go to component, bring it back in again. There it is. Now there's my toilet. And if I go look to it at my 3D view, it's going to be kind of logically on the floor. This is kind of an extreme corner. So this one's a little bit better. But you can see it just kind of just intelligently plopped itself on the floor instead of all over the place. Um, so go ahead, please, and fill in as much of your bathroom as you can for homework, because it'll mean less homework next week as we pull a lot of things together. Um, but now that you have walls and floors, basically there's planes for these things to kind of stick themselves to. Again, the Bulbrick ones behave fairly intelligently, but you might see them on the floor. So then you're going to need to come in this 3D view and tell it to instead stick to the plane of the wall. We'll troubleshoot together, but do as much as you can on your own this weekend. So you come in with a plan that I can uh, re review and just make sure you've got all the components. And we'll also draw a turning circle in there too. So again, you're clearly showing me and anybody reading this plan that it's going to be ADA compliant. All right. Thanks for your patience today too. And like I said, Monday, we will pick back up and start making all our custom flooring. So we'll basically come back and just uh, swap this guy out for, you know, prettier tile or something like that.